Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a great and wonderful day. As you can see, there is going to be a lot more videos coming out today, mostly just due to the fact that I have more free time to do so, and uh, I'll probably be doing a little small update videos, and then I'll be doing the videos that are probably of a greater importance, because obviously I kind of want you guys to get a bit more of the crazy and memeous videos out, and then, you know, the rest of no, kind of out of the way. So we have this for from I mean for therefore I am. We have uh, the New York City squatter featuring the viral video after the rightful owner of the house was arrested has been charged. Brian Rodriguez, who not only squatted but also rented rooms, was charged with burglary, grand larceny, and other crimes. At least four lawmakers have filed legislation that since this segment first aired to make it easier for police to remove squatters and to document how often it's happening. One bill was filed by uh, NYC uh, council member, and three senators have filed legislation as well. Now I'm gonna go over this. As, uh, over this, I, every time that I do these things, I try my best to try to actually get articles to what they're trying to quote from, and of course, it's kind of difficult to do so. So. We have this here. This is from obviously the New York Post. Squatters in NYC. Squatter arrested after sent off homeowner and seven on your side of investigation. So obviously ABC uh, New York. This stuff is also going on as well. So yeah, th this is a thing that's going. So it's not just so many things. It's just not a lot of people are talking about it. The mainstream media essentially is not talking about it. And I think what you guys need to start understanding here is, is one thing and one thing only is that. Uh, is that it's this. Um, if we're going to go with articles and we're going to go with things that are specifically talking about this stuff because some people think that I am posting or posting inaccurate stuff about, you know, the Venezuelan flag for some god apparent reason. That's not the accurate Venezuelan flag, even though you he didn't even try to reply back on what else that flag could probably be mentioned or the fact that, you know, the people that are specifically uh uh you know canada has it's made where they're trying to ch go after minor children which they're calling mature minors at this point in time uh there as i get my posting and my reports are car crap well it's not necessarily because again some of the articles and some of the reports that i do are hard to come by mostly due to the fact that you're not going to have mainstream media covering these things i mean you're not even having Fox News cover this. You don't see anything here. Look at this. Look at this here. And I'll even move this away. You can even see this here. Where's the mainstream, new, mainstream media here? You're not seeing it. This is from January 16th, 2024. Like, you're not seeing anything here with the mainstream media. So, obviously, my job here is to try and help you guys uh, understand what's really going on because, obviously... Finding information that is not in the mainstream media is probably the probably the most reliable. I'm going to be perfectly honestly here. Mostly just due to the fact that uh, it's news that the mainstream media won't cover. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know what else to tell you. I can't give you mainstream media if they're not actually going to cover something. So, again, we have NYC squatters at the OK sign with no bail for the Queen's thug who sublets rooms during his takeover. Um, it says Brian Rodriguez, the report of... A fennant thug who squatted in the Queen's woman's house had the audacity to try to sublet rooms in it during his squat has been cut loose with no bail. Let that sink in. A vicious crook with previous convictions for burglary and drug offenses tries to literally steal a woman's house out from under her and a bonkers job decides he's a good candidate for supervised release. Prosecutors ask for a $100,000 bail, and rightly so. Rodriguez faces burglary, grand larceny, and criminal trespassing charges as po as and a possible 15-year 15, 15 sentence if found guilty. But now, uh, but again, what I'm going over with this here is that, be, aside from, the you know, all this crazy stuff that's going on, this is not really a fair shake to the tenant, all right, or the person that was arrested. So, um, what I would like is to, um, I think this lady here, this woman here, should immediately be, um, would be the correct term to have probably given thousands if not probably millions of dollars to her for a wrongful arrest um and uh have her house back and any damages or money that she had to pay due to stuff like that should also be rewarded to her well that seems excessive that would probably just say that would probably you know uh it's like no because again 
I don't find it excessive when you arrest somebody that clearly owns their home, and somebody came into their home, stole it, and then this person doesn't have a home anymore, and I think she has more than one house, but obviously, my point is being is that she was arrested, um, and she shouldn't have been at all. She has had all her charges weighed. She should be given money, and any of the damages that this guy has done to the house or what have you should be all reimbursed back to her so she can actually fix the problem that was caused. So that's my point. And this isn't going to influence other people to do this, and if it does, then we have to create a new law, obviously, that would prevent people from doing this. But my point is being is that when an innocent civilian is taken down like this in this kind of way, then they need to be reimbursed at some point. We just can't be having our government arresting people illegally. Like, <laughs> uh, uh, illegally, or in this case, it would be legal because, you know, New York squatters' rights. But, uh, again, that's just something that needs to come by where we need to start doing better for the people than we're really catering to the bloody government, which we shouldn't be caring about at all. And, again, with this guy, he was released on bail. He was he was released. Not on bail, but without no bail. And he's still waiting his, tri uh, his trial. So, again, we don't know whether or not this guy will actually be doing it. He was arrested. He has been charged. But that does not mean that the case is um, going to be done or anything yet. He could still be released uh, easily. Um, uh, he may not even get uh, a, a true... Uh, um, he may not be actually be fully put in jail. So we'll see what happens. But again, I don't have hope because it's the New York uh, New York system, all right? That's just the way it is. I do see that some New York uh, some New York is trying to refix its squatter laws, which is good. But I want this to be changed uh, at some point in time because, you know, obviously this is stuff that needs to happen. But again, the insanity is this here. Just... We need to actually fix our laws. That's just the point of being. And we reimburse this woman and make sure that this guy gets the actual justice that he deserves by which is being in jail for 15 years. So, yeah. All right, guys. That's it for the video. Like, share, share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. This is algorithmic disease. The social media.